This is part 3 of the Flycast tutorial series. Link for part 1 will be in the description. The setup for Naomi, which is another Sega Arcade, is similar to Atomic Wave. This tutorial will build on that. For Naomi, head over to this page. Go to Zip. And this time, you want to download the Naomi BIOS. You need to save it in the data folder, which is where Flycast expects all BIOS files. I already have it. Cancel. For the ROMs, head over to this page. The MAME version doesn't really matter because we're not using MAME. You can download the whole thing, all 192 files, or just pick the games you like. Click Show All. Unlike Atomis Wave games, which is a single zip file, Naomi games may or may not come with CHDs. Games with CHDs have a separate directory, which has a matching name as their zip. Both files need to be downloaded to work. Games without CHDs will only have a zip file. For example, as a manga has its own directory and a matching zip file. Inside the directory, that's where you find the CHD. While the game 18 Wheeler only has a zip file, but not its own folder. From here, you can pick just the games you like and not download the entire library. I don't hoard games, so I like this option. Back in LaunchBox, we will now import games for Naomi. Tools, Import, ROM Files, Next, Add Files. Here, we just want to import the zip files, not the CHDs. Next, Sega Naomi. Next, Flycast is set as default. We configured this in the previous tutorial. Next, files in their current location. Next, pick the media you like. Next, this is optional. You can skip it if you don't have an Emu Movies account. Next, next, and finish. Our games have imported, and from here, we can run Flycast without starting the game. Right click, open Flycast, go to Settings, Controls. I have an 8 bit do arcade stick, and it registers as an Xbox One S controller. Let's map. Go to Arcade Controls. Let's see how that looks like. For directions, I keep those at default. The 8-bit Duo Arcade Stick can switch between left stick, D-pad, and right stick. For the buttons, most Sega machines only had 6 buttons, so I left button 7 and 8 blank. It doesn't have any trigger. Start is Start. Service and Test buttons are mapped to LB and LT. Part 2 of the series shows you how to use these buttons outside of gameplay. And then the emulator menu is select. Click done. And done. Alt F4 to exit. Which brings us back to Launchbox. And from here we can just launch the game as we would. I'll leave you with the footage of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 which I captured earlier. Yeah. <laughs>
KO. You win.